So today is the first of um, a few different fencing projects. This is gonna be a picket fence and it's quite short. I'm gonna concrete these posts in. So what we need to do is dig the holes. Now, obviously the, the basic way to do that is to just use a shovel, uh, to use a spade, dig a hole and uh, sink, you know, about a third of the height below the ground. But then I was looking around and I came across this, uh, which is a fence auger. And you can obviously get the big petrol ones uh, we can get one on the back of a tractor. But this is a really simple handheld, basically like a, a corkscrew, uh, and, and it supposedly bores a hole into the ground. Now it came in the post on Friday, and uh, I came out, it was pretty dark, I came out and had, had to give it a go just to see if it will work or not, and it took me about 45 to 50 seconds to bore a two foot hole. So I think it's gonna certainly be a concrete saver and also a time saver. So I'll give you a look at how it works. Um, there may be better ones out there. This is a Draper uh, and it's 150 mil. So it gives you a six inch hole, which is perfectly big enough for these small kind of three by three um, posts. Probably okay for a four by four, um, but you might want to square off the hole to make it a bit bigger if you were using it for higher fencing. But we'll take a look and see how, what you think. So here's the tester hole I did and it went in, there's a few roots there, but it went down with no problem at all. I'll do another one here. This is, uh, it's not being planted in, but it's kind of bare ground, so it should be fairly soft. So that's perfectly deep enough for what we need. I'll give you a little close up. So the lighting isn't great, but to give you an idea, that's uh, 500 mil, so that's half a meter down, almost two foot. I didn't take much uh, time at all. So this is quite clay, clay soil, and it's also rained very heavily over the last couple of days. It's quite weighty, but I would suggest going in little chunks you know, maybe stopping uh, a third of the way down and then just, if you've got the hard surface surface nearby or maybe just put a block next to the hole and just give it a thump. Take all that soil off there and then keep going. So that's in the soil. We'll take a look at how it works on the grass now. Obviously it's quite thick root system on this grass, but once you cut through that, it's pretty much the same. And uh, we can kind of core, core a nice chunk out. If you take too much and it's too hard to pull up, the nice thing is it doesn't really jam because you can just back it off and take less out. Um, or if you're feeling strong, you know you can keep going and pull a good core up with it. So that's plenty deep enough for our fence. That's uh, the auger itself plus a bit of the post, about 400 mil. Um, but of course you could go up to probably about a meter with this thing. Built pretty well. The welding looks fairly sound. Obviously this paint's gonna flake off pretty soon as soon as you've got any gravel or uh, hard earth in there, that'll probably chip off. But it seems pretty thick. I doubt it's gonna rust through. Uh, then it's got this like hammered finish on it. The handle, 
it's got a bit of play in it, it comes off, um, it basically slides out, which is quite handy because if you're up against the wall you could leave it loose um, and then you could still get a good bit of leverage or you could actually put a longer handle in there to give you some more lever but this uh, little grub screw there needs a good tighten when you first get it. So there's a really quick preview of how this works. Um, I'm going to use it in the whole of this fencing project. So I've got about 10 or 11 posts going. So I thought we'd give you a little sneak peek and then the next video we'll be getting these posts in. You'll be able to see it in action. So remember to subscribe to keep up to date with all these projects throughout the summer. And remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.